morning, we're going to take a derivative. We're going to use the chain rule to do so. The derivative is y equal, or the function is y equals negative uh, secant x plus the tangent of x raised to the power of negative 1. So we're going to have to use the chain rule. Um, I don't see any point in doing anything else to this first. So uh, we'll look at the outside function. The outermost function is negative something to the negative 1. So to take the derivative, we'll bring that negative 1 down in front. So it's negative times negative 1 times whatever's in the inside stays there, which is secant x plus tangent x. To reduce negative 1 by 1 is negative 2. Now we'll take the derivative of the inside. The derivative of the secant is the secant of x times the tangent of x. And the derivative of the tangent of x is, of course, the secant squared of x. So that's more or less the derivative. Um, let's see. Yeah, we can simplify this nicely. Uh, first of all, the negative 1 times negative 1, or negative times negative 1, is positive, so that goes away. We'll put the secant x plus tangent x to the negative 2 in the denominator as secant x plus tangent x to the power of 2. And I'll drag this out a little bit. So the numerator is secant x tangent of x plus secant squared of x divided by the secant of x plus the tangent of x quantity squared. So now I have a secant of x in the numerator and another secant of x in this other term, so I'm going to factor that out. So y prime equals the secant of x times the tangent of x plus the secant of x. And there's something nice that happens. We have the secant of x plus the tangent of x squared. Well, in the numerator, tangent of x plus the secant of x is just a, another way of saying secant x plus tangent of x. So we can actually uh, cross out that one in the top and reduce that bottom by a power of 1. We're going to get y prime equals the secant of x divided by the secant of x plus the tangent of x. And that's the answer.